Well, introducing apex predators is some of the best things you can do for the environment. It's possible to reintroduce animals that aren't there anymore. One place where they did that was in Yellowstone Park in America. Really famous national park for its geezers and everything like that. But it's also now really famous for its wolves because the wolves have literally changed the course of rivers. They had eradicated the wolf from the park and everything in the park fell out of balance. The deer population exploded, the bison population exploded, and they actually had deforestation caused by overgrazing by the large number of herbivores that were there. So in 1995, they brought in 14 wolves down from Canada and they released them into the park and things in the park changed overnight. Basically, what the wolves have done is the wolves have hunted out some of the deer or some of the large browsers of the trees. So that kicked off what's called a landscape of fear ecology. Straight away, the deer started acting differently in the park. The herbivores in the park realised that the predators were now back and they had to change their behaviour accordingly just in case there might be a wolf stalking them. So instead of staying in the same place and overgrazing and eating the bark off the trees, they just nibbled a little bit of the tree and they moved on and they kept moving just in case to make sure that they weren't getting stalked by wolves. This led to some of the trees growing back in the area. The trees meant that more birds came back. With the trees growing, there was more berries. So bears came back and the bears started to predate some of the deers too. This meant that all the grazing was down. That means that another animal that eats those trees and uses those trees can proliferate. It can get more success. Beaver numbers increase. Beavers are another keystone species as well. They create dams and that's habitat for other animals like uh, ducks and amphibians and different fish. So it was more wetlands and more species came back and insects came back. So if the beavers increase and they're making dams in the rivers, that means the rivers change direction. So if you look at satellite imagery prior to the wolves coming into the park and satellite imagery from today, the river now meanders more. And that's really good news for people that live downstream because the more a river meanders, it slows the flow of the water down and stops it just gushing down the river and in, into a town or city causing floods. It's not all bad news for the deer either because wolves generally take the sick and the weak out of the population. So you end up with a really healthy population of deer and a really healthy population of bison. The, the wolves can identify the animals that have disease and of course they're pulling that disease out. And that's good news for the farmers around the park as well because the deer aren't passing on TB or brucellosis or one of those diseases to their farm animals. So we can see that when we reintroduce one animal to an area, it can have a knockdown, which is called a trophic cascade. So when you introduce an apex predator like a wolf, the whole environment changes for the better. It's fascinating what happens when, when you restore balance.